Yeah, you even did some time too recently, huh? Um, yeah, I just did seven years, bro. Yeah, you just recently got out, what, 2020? 2019? 2020. So you've been out for like a year now, huh? Yeah. Can you, can you share what, like, the reason why you went in or not? Yeah, yeah. I went in, bro. Uh, my charge was trafficking and fraudulent devices, um, trafficking marijuana, uh, and violation of probation. Okay, okay, okay. But I had multiple charges in multiple states, so uh, everything went went federal. Uh, I did have to do some time um, loosely in the state here, there, like they move you around for court or whatnot. Um, I did time. I did time, bro. Some of the worst penitentiaries, most violent penitentiaries in this nation, bro. Federal penitentiaries. Federal penitentiaries and state penitentiaries. Yeah. Like I did time in. Like when I was in Tennessee, I did time at a place called Northwest. So you did state and fed time? I did state and On two different occasions, two different cases? On the same occasion. Okay. Like my first four years, because I had so much shit going on, I didn't know when I didn't have a release date. I didn't know when I was getting out my first four years. I didn't know what the fuck was going on. Yeah. They was kind of like holding a nigga hostage almost. Man, what's it like when, you know, saying you, you find out you're catching a fed case? What's the feeling? You know, because... You know what I'm saying? The Fed is a serious game. Um, bro, when I got that, when, I, when they first hit me, locked me up and shit, and I got that uh, that paper, they slid that motherfucking uh, indictment under the cell, and it said, <laughs> United States versus Stefan Lorenzo, right? <laughs> <laughs> and that shit said, it said 10 to life. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, what the fuck? Life? What the fuck they talking about life? You know what I'm saying? Like for real, like on the movie Life. What the fuck they talking about life? What the fuck they mean life? I'm in the cell. I'm going off. It was an OG nigga in the cell from Detroit. I can't remember bro's name. OG nigga though. This was like his third time in feds. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like nigga chill, nigga come in here. He get to bust about the feds book. Nigga, what's your charge? Woo 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 woo. All right, nigga. Yeah, you probably gonna be facing this. That was my first time in the feds. So they probably be facing this like 24 months. And it turns out, lo and behold, that's what it was. Yeah. What's worse? Like I did 24 months. I did 24 months. You guys think I did 24 months in the <clears throat> feds. Got out for four months and then caught seven years. Yeah. So everybody like looked at me like I was a crash dummy or like I was stupid or whatever, whatever. But they don't understand like it wasn't me. A motherfucker put me in a situation. You see what I'm saying? What's worse though, fed, the fed, the time you did in fed or the time in state? What was harder, the harder time? <sighs> the hard, no, the hardest time is county jail time. Mm -hmm. That's the hardest time. County jail fucking sucks, bro. Cause you don't know what's going on. Not even just that, bro, the living conditions. You you know, in prison, bro, a lot of times, you know, some prisons got open dormitories, but a lot of times you get, you know, two man cell because my custody level was always high. I always had a high custody level. So I was always in a two-man cell. Yeah. You know what I mean? I prefer being in a two-man cell. You know what I mean? Because, you know, germs and shit like that, and you can control certain things. You know what I'm saying? I only got a vibe with you versus a vibe with a bunch of niggas in the county jail. Most of the time, you in a cell with a bunch of niggas. So you got a vibe with all these different personalities, and you you can't go walk, walk, the, walk the yard or, you know what I'm saying, put on your headphones and just go get away for a second or go to the library and shit like that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Or go to the gym and things like that. You can't do that really in the county jail. Most county jails, you can't do that shit. For sure. So county jail is definitely the fucking worst. What's the craziest thing you ever seen during incarceration? Oh my God. Bro, the craziest thing I ever seen. Two of the craziest things. I'm going to tell you two of the craziest things I ever seen. Come on. One. While I was in Northwest, it's a prison right outside of Memphis, about an hour and a half outside of Memphis. Very violent prison, the most violent prison in the state of Memphis. Max, super max, super like, max. Like niggas, niggas from Memphis don't want to go to Northwest. Okay. You know what I mean? Like when you go through Bledsoe, real niggas know when you go through Bledsoe. I, that was the the transit when I was there. That was the the, the head book, and I was there before you go to your your prison. You gonna go do Bledsoe County. 
When you go through Bledsoe and they come around at 1 o'clock in the morning waking niggas up and telling you where you're going. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And you hear niggas saying, hey, where am I going? And you hear, you hear the motherfucking guard say, hey, you going to Northwest? You hear niggas say, oh, no, not Northwest. Hell no. Nah. Fuck, no, nah, not Northwest. And these niggas from Memphis. You see what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I remember the first day I got to that motherfucking nigga got killed. But anyway, mm-hmm. the crazy thing I seen, two of the crazy thing I seen, matter of fact, no, it's one. That other shit don't even top this. I ain't going to mention that. While I was in Coleman, USP1 in Florida, which is the largest uh, federal complex in the nation. It's the largest federal prison in the nation. Uh, I was at USP1, not USP2. God damn it, because USP2, that's a hot camp, okay? Mm-hmm. USP1, that's that's an active camp. You know what I'm saying? And Coleman will fuck you up because it's laid back. It's laid back, right? And then the motherfucking bombs go up. Do, do, do. What bomb? Nigga. <laughs> The first day I got to, this ain't the craziest shit though, but the first day I got to Coleman, the first day I got there, I'm on the rec yard. I went to I went to uh commissary, because like federal prison, you go to commissary. It's like a stove. You go there, put your little fingerprint on the shit, buy your shit, sweats, food, whatever you need. But they ain't had no shoes in my size. So I went on the yard, you know, prison that's pretty on the yard, that's like a fucking marketplace. You know what I mean? I go in the yard looking for a pair of size 13s. I take a 14, nigga. I need something to work out in. These boots is killing me, nigga. You know what I'm saying? I got stamps. What's up? So the nigga supposedly had some air forces for me, whatever. So I'm waiting on the nigga to come out. Or I'm waiting on the nigga to come out to the yard. You know what I mean? These three Mexicans, you know, these two Mexicans get to get on this one Mexican. You know what I'm saying? Like right there. The, the tower don't see it. Like it ain't no, on Coleman 1, it ain't no, it ain't no fucking gazebo or none of that shit. There's no coverage. It's the sun and then you got the gun towers. You know what I'm saying? The tower don't see these niggas taking off. But they, you know what I mean? But the one Mexican, he holding his own. You feel me? Mm-hmm. He, he damn about to get the better of both of them. And then I see the one fucking Mexican. I'm watching this shit. I'm in the cut. I'm watching this shit. Everybody watching. The tower just ain't caught it yet. The one Mexican, he fucking, he got his hand and he <sighs> throwing dust in the other Mexican's eyes. Then the other Mexican pounce on him with that thing. <sharp inhale> That's when the top catch throwing them bombs, shooting them bombs. Boom! 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 You know what I'm saying? But the Mexican keeps stabbing. See, in the in you in USPs and shit, if you put in some work, you gotta get caught. See in the state, you can put in work, niggas put in work and try to sneak around and not get caught by the staff or whatever. No, in the feds, no, you put in some work, nigga, you gotta do it till you get caught in the open. You gotta do it to the to the people come get you. And that was my first day getting it. But anyway, the crazy shit I seen while I was there was probably about like five months before I left. My next little neighbor, he was a nigga named Po Boy from Miami and from Bank Robber. Shout out to Po Boy, man. Free Po Boy, man. <laughs> it's a wild nigga. Haitian nigga, right? From Miami. <laughs> you know, he smoked that K2 and shit. Bro smoked that K2, but I fucked with bro, you know what I'm saying? He be on some some wild shit. But a lot of people fuck with bro in the dorm. You know what I'm saying? I just fuck with because you know, when you locked up, you got your routine of who you fuck with. You know what I'm saying? Politics, my next door neighbor, I gotta fuck with him because that's like another pair of eyes for me. He always in the cell. You dig know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I definitely gotta be on good, good times. So he smoke his little K2, whatever the fuck, whatever. So one day, bro had an episode on K2, right? And he went in another nigga from Florida, an OG nigga from Florida named Mike from Tampa, Big Mike from Tampa. You know what I'm saying? They say what they say about Mike. I don't know, but man, whatever. You know what I mean? I fuck with Mike. Shout out to Mike. And, um, like, he went to the nigga and he jumped. This nigga was, poor boy is like 320 pounds. Mm-hmm. Six foot five. He jumped from the top tier. From the top tier, swan dive. Right? No, like really a swan dive <laughs> from the top tier. It's probably at least 50 feet. It's had to be at least 50 feet, 40 feet, at least 40 feet. Now, you know, in prison, federal prison, it's hard concrete floors. There's no padding. All right. And USPs, there's no fucking padding on the floors in the unit. He jumped, swan dive, going for the nigga and fucking landed on a uh, like a mop. 
a mop bucket. Got one of those yellow mop buckets. God damn. And got right back up. Bust <laughs> on his ass, went to medical for like about an hour and came right back. <laughs> That's the craziest shit I ever seen. Yeah, that's some wild shit. That's the craziest shit I ever seen. Yeah, that's some wild shit. Crazy shit. You had to, you had to really see it to believe it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I'm gonna tell you about the second crazy shit. Fuck it. It was at Coleman too, right before I left. It was some niggas from Texas, actually. It was some niggas from Texas. It was some type of Texas thing going on, man. Yeah, it was some Texas politics. You know what I mean? Some Dallas shit. And man, it was a nigga, man. The nigga was about to get out too, nigga. He ain't had that much longer. The nigga probably had like six months, some shit like that. He was on slap bullshit. He didn't give a fuck. We watching the game. I think it was the finals, mm -hmm. the 2019 finals. And um, niggas just chilling. You know what I'm saying? Niggas chilling, man. And nigga come across this nigga head with a motherfucking uh, with a lock and a sock like out of nowhere though. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna tell you, it kind of had me shook on some real shit. It kind of had me shook because I was sitting like right here. I'm like, fuck, that the fuck nigga could have caught me. You know what I'm saying? If it was for me, if the hit was for me, the nigga could have caught me. Mm -hmm. There ain't no brothers around. You know what I'm saying? Like, goddamn, I'm slipping. You know what I'm saying? That's why I don't be watching TV as it is. That's why I'm be in the goddamn TV room. You know what I mean? Yeah. Bust some shit. You know what I mean? Like, I want to say, damn it, killed, killed the man. Mm. They said them Florida prisons is crazy. This one of the, some of the craziest. Man, no, ain't no prison crazier. I'm gonna tell you the craziest prison I've ever been in, bro, was Northwest. Yeah. Was Northwest. In Memphis? Me yeah. Like, it's right outside of Memphis, bro. Like, mm -hmm. them, niggas, them niggas control that. Memphis? Them niggas run that. No, 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 no. No, look, Memphis. No, 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 you understand. Them niggas run that. Like, really? the, niggas, the niggas run that. But what I was gonna say was Memphis, Baltimore, and St. Louis is like the most dangerous cities. Cause they small and they prisons and they streets is like just the same. You know yeah. what I'm saying? And they got every gang. Yeah. Memphis right. got every gang. In fact, GDs, Vice Lords, Vice Lords, all that. Everything. Everything. Yeah. And they and they the yeah. niggas bang in prison, boy, the niggas banging so hard, bro. It's, yeah. it's crazy. Yeah. Right now, like it's just crazy. The real crime going up.